everybody. It's Susanna from Papercraft Planet. Um, I promised you guys last week I would do a introduction to Photoshop Elements, kind of a walk around tour of the program and some of the basic features and how to get started. And hopefully I'll be able to keep this up. Maybe once a week we'll add something new that um, helps us get started. So if you double click on Photoshop Elements, you should get a menu or a screen that looks just like this. Um, I'm using Photoshop Elements version 6 for Mac. Um, the version for PC looks exactly the same. The big difference is Macs are integrated with um, Adobe Bridge and the PC version is integrated with the organizer. There's things I like and dislike about both. Um, we're not going to tour that um, side of the program. We're just going to look at the uh, photo editing tool today. So um, the welcome screen has on it um, several choices and as you can see here it also has recent images. I'm going to work with a template that um, I already had open so I'm going to double click on that and we'll bring that open and into our uh, workspace. If you wanted to start from scratch um, you could simply click um, file open and I'm going to show you that right now because this is not the layout I wanted to open so I'm going to close that by clicking on that little red button I'm going to go up here to file and open I am going to navigate to where I keep my templates and this time I'm going to open uh, Bella Gypsy template 2 make sure you are selecting the PSD file that is a uh, Photoshop layered document um, when it opens, and it takes just a minute because there's quite a bit of information packed in here, you'll see over here to the right, this is your layers palette. And if you scroll up, you'll see that every element here in our scrapbook template is listed on its own layer. This is a fabulous feature from Photoshop that lets you um, stack the images that are part of your final scrapbook page much in the same way you would scrapbook a traditional scrap page. You'd put your paper on the bottom. So if we scroll to the bottom of the layers palette, here's our background paper. And then on top of that will be additional elements. Okay, if you'll see right here, this is our navigator. And the navigator is the thumbnail view of your um, work in process so that if you've zoomed in and are working you know with this flower and button combination you can still see the entire image as a whole over here to the right over here on the bottom is your project bin this will be where additional documents are open for instance your photographs will be open down here you can hide this by just clicking on this little tiny white arrow and that will open and close your projects bin. To drag things out of the project bin and onto your work surface you just click them and drag them up. Won't work here because that is the only thing in there. <laughs> Off to the left are our tools and if you hover over them it will tell you what they are. The move tool you'll use constantly. It allows you to move objects around your work surface. The zoom tool just zooms in. I find that my scroll wheel will do that for me. You can also do that here on the navigator by dragging your scrubby slider towards the plus sign or towards the minus sign. The hand tool allows you to move up and scroll up and down the page. The eyedropper tool lets you match color. If you'll notice down here in my color sample area, I just sampled this magenta color and now it's down there so if I wanted to um, make my title a color I can fill that with magenta now. Okay, here's my uh, rectangular marquee tool. This allows you to select certain items. 
in a rectangular shape. If you right click on that, it's got a drop down menu, you can choose elliptical and you can make circles. And if you hold down your shift key, you will, um, let me get rid of those, um, you can make them perfect circles. I do select that. Um, up here at the top, will be um, specific information about the tool that you're using. For instance, we have the elliptical marquee tool here. You can see under mode, we have several choices, fixed size to make a four inch by four inch circle or any size that you want. Normal would allow me to make any ellipse. With the move tool, it lets you arrange, align, and distribute. Um, the lasso tool, if you right click on that one, you'll see there's other choices here. The little black arrows beside each item lets you know that there are additional menu choices. Here's the magic wand tool that helps you um, select certain items. Let's go down here to the brush tool, text, that's how you type on your document, crop, there's also um, a cookie cutter to cut certain shapes out of your paper, straighten, Here's now here we're coming into your editing tools for photos, red eye, healing brush, clone stamp, eraser, pencil, paint bucket, gradient tool and oh, what is this one? The rectangle tool, the what's this one? Blur, sharpen and smudge, burn, sponge, and dodge. And then here's your color pickers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the move tool and I'm going to deselect these choices. Um, okay, so that um, we're almost at 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, but uh, that covers your overall introduction to here are the tools and here's briefly what they do. Um, the best way, I think, to learn how to work Photoshop is to play with it. So um, the next video I'm going to do, just to give you a teaser, is going to be uh, taking a template and working it start to finish in under 10 minutes. And you'll be able to see the basic functions of the tools that we use for uh, creating a simple, straightforward, templated scrapbook page. And as we go along and this evolves, you know, hopefully it will turn into a little bit more tips and tricks and how to do some fun things. Feel free to leave questions or comments or suggestions on things you'd like to learn. Please comment on the video. It helps me know what um, you're looking for. So um, have a great day.